I did that. You didn't do nothing but march and say and hashtag it. First of all, people get there and start taking selfies. Oh, and shit. Oh, I'm I'm here at the I'm here at the march. Or like you said, I'm here protesting at the protest. Whoa. But you're not doing nothing. You're not really there for the cause. You're there to just for the clout, right? You it's know, crazy. look at what I did because it was cool to do this week. Yeah, because I was like, yo, I was looking like, damn, so, the draft was on, and I and I turned to it for a second. Then I had to catch myself. Like, Am I protesting? Am I pro black this week? Because I felt some sort of way. I was like, I, I did good. I am. For the season, I watched the Super Bowl and I watched one or two playoff games. I, I didn't really watch, didn't. No, watch, I didn't watch no season. I don't think I watched the season. I didn't season. watch no game in the season. I watched the Super Bowl. Though. I didn't watch the Super and Bowl, and I felt bad. I watched maybe one, two games during the season. I yeah, I was find myself I mean, just being busy Bowl. enough anyway. I found out later that one. All right, we can start it. All right. Um, no disrespect, podcast episode forty-eight. We are back. Like we left our hat. And two is missing, but still. The whole crew is here in spirit. Exactly. I'm Cool Ass Trav. Cool King the Dream. And we're here. And this is how we do it. Shot and edited by Mr. Bellin. Mr. Mm-hmm. Bellin 2377 behind the camera. There you go, sir. So, the calf just won. No, this they don't say first, they, No, this long they, first round. They made out the first they round. They made out the first round. It was a long first round for them. Who they playing next? Tomorrow? The Raptors. It's going to be a long It's going to be a long no, one. No, they're going to choke. Raptors, no, they be choking. They choke, they, they choke, so? they choke all the time. But it's, if somebody go to seven, because guess what, LeBron don't got a Kyrie. <laughs> yeah, he definitely, he definitely needs some players, because I, I feel like, and, and, and I feel it, like Kevin Love wants to leave. No, Kevin Love is going through uh, mental stuff. Oh my God. Don't say, like, oh my God, because it's oh serious. Why, why you say that? It's serious. Mental, uh, mental stuff. Um, unstability is serious, man. What, Depression what? and all that. I mean, I don't understand it from these guys because you're doing something. You're getting paid to do something that people do for free, for fun. Okay. So that's my opinion about uh, athletes that complain about stuff. You're doing, you're, you're playing games for a living. Come on. I don't, yeah, I don't understand Come either because at, at a certain point. You know, you grew up poor, boom, boom, boom. You want to work. You want to do what you plan on doing is playing basketball for a living in your name. I don't think people understand what happens when you become famous to that level. It, it don't. It's not simple no more. There's no going to the store. There's no going to the... Here it is. No, it's not. You can't go and go somewhere in peace without somebody wanting something from you. I want an autograph. I want a picture. Come with the business. Yeah, but people don't see all that. They should know all that. Okay, now watch. All right. But look, I've seen NBA players before, famous NBA players. I mean, I, they shook my hand. Famous. You from New York though? It's different because we used to seeing people. Yeah, you ain't playing on the Knicks, so you know. Like, L- yeah. L- L- LA, I guarantee you. you yeah, see, LA and New York, is, it's you're different. definitely going to see a star, and it's normal. Like, oh, I see. He's always at such and such. Eating, but whatever. You, all right, now you. I'm not gonna play professional basketball and live in a hood where everybody. You can move with being a star is regular. Yeah, that that, that come with a price too, though. That come with a price because then you got different type of women on you. You got different women. That's gonna be no, no. Price. But you got you got you got to appeal to that lifestyle. A lot of people, a lot of people can't appeal to that lifestyle when you get there. It's hard for you to to adjust to going from being poor. Or middle class, because some of them, some of these ball players had money, and then to really having your own money and having your own light outside of maybe your father or your uncle, whoever was in the league, and now you got your own joint. Now that comes with a different type of responsibility. Like when I when I see the draft, I seen what um the Giants got to do Saquon Barkley. Right. I feel like anybody that go to a New York team is fucked. Why you do that? Because this is New York. And this is the bright light. This is a big city. This is over for them. But it's bright in every other city. Nah, too. not like New York. Not like New York. But not like when you come here, it's totally different. You that think, shine is different. You think? You think we? Go, you think somebody play for the Lakers don't have it better? Yeah, I guess <laughs> New York and LA. You is think if you don't play for the Cowboys, you ain't going 
It's, it's, not, not, it's not like coming New York don't have the biggest teams. That's the thing. We don't have the biggest teams. No, you just got the, we, like one of the biggest cities. We got the biggest, probably the biggest fan base. So. Right. So you could be a losing Knicks team and niggas on they, that shit sells out regardless. Uh-huh. For a lot, too. Look, right. at, look at Brooklyn. Yeah, they, they still go to see the next. No, but it's different because they they tickets. They take but still, it, they they take it cheaper than the bag of loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brooklyn next ticket is like eighteen thousand. <laughs> oh my god! I see it, nigga. No, I no. went to a Brooklyn Nets game. Yeah, that's that's yo. I yo, to I gotta give I gotta give a shout out to whoever running that organization. I mean, y'all ain't got great in basketball. My team ain't great either, but at least they employ everybody from the hood. Who? The Nets? Who they employ? Them niggas that's all dope dancing on the train? Shaquana from the projects. <laughs> all them dudes everybody. that was dancing on them trains, dancing for halftime in the ball claim, middle middle of the court. Facts. Hey, it was getting light. It was getting light. Wow. It's showtime. I know that. I seen it. I did not know that at all. I seen it. Um, what else happened this week? They trying to kill Bill. Bill needs to die. No disrespect to Bill. But that's the only way you can save face. I said the same thing. That's the only way you can save face. No, it's not. That's the only way. My thing, my hope, this is my thing. Bill. Well, I'm not saying what Bill did was right. I'm not just, I'm going to talk about what Bill did. No, no, we're gonna, talk, no. we're gonna talk about it because we we gotta talk about Cause it. Because we don't we don't know exactly what happened. I just think if you party in with Bill, you know he's gonna try to kill. No, the thing of this is what I thought about it. Okay, this is what I thought. About it. You can't be serious. With this That's a good point though. If 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 I if I come up to you. And say, listen, Bill Cosby want to hang out with you tonight. He wants you to come back to his room. You already know I'm getting fucked, or I'm getting, I'm performing something, and I'm going to get a check for it because wait, wait, you wait. know he a married man. But uh, is this is this um in the this is when the, he was popping on the Cosby Show, Bill? You talking about? This is from 1967. What's the shit when he was on the? With the white man, they was like undercover all the time. I know you're talking oh, about. Oh, we talking about um um. What's that drink called? Whatever man? it was called. I spy. I spy. He was famous since then. He was okay, famous with Sidney Poitier. With now, Poitier. That's the, and that's my point right there. How long is is, is the statute of limitations on a rape allegation? It doesn't seem to be. It seemed to be forever now. Well, look, the because, Golden State Killer. They caught his ass. Forty years later, but this that's crazy. Cause you can get, you, you get, you can get bad credit off your report in <laughs> seven years. You mean to tell me somebody drugged you thirty years ago? My thing is this: I'm pretty sure Bill was taking the same shit he was giving them. They just taking the shit these little niggas take now. <laughs> so, I, I was Bill like, slipped oh. the pill, tried to kill. He probably and you got mad later on. Because he got hot drugs. Do, do you think any of them got paid? Absolutely. So I my think, thing is, if you got paid, you can't complain about nothing. Because was, you took a fair payment. You agreed to... If I say... If I'm your rep, if I'm his representative, or if I'm your representative, I said, listen, my man Pukim over there got 5000 for you tonight. Gonna go to the hotel and have some fun. Regardless of what it is, you... 5000 Whatever it is. You agree... If you agreeing to go to the hotel room... Did she say no? But if she agreed to go to the hotel room, you've already sold your soul, right? You know he married. You know this shit ain't right. But you feeling like, oh, I'm going to get paid. I'm going to get something out of it. Now, if he chose to drug your ass, hmm. eh, I'm not saying it's right. No, but this is the thing. That Hollywood lifestyle got to do with a lot of drugs. A lot of... Nobody knew that Lil Michelle from Four Houses, both of them were going to be smack heads. True. And the one from LL joint in the house. She oh, lost it. She lost all Maya of it. Cam. I seen a porn on my Facebook too. Thank Tiffany God. Harris took her spot. Yeah, good point. So, drugs is a norm in Hollywood. This is what I'm saying. You know, you you're not going to the real. room to do. He ain't going to do stand up and talk about his kids and Camille. He talking about he that. Know, he, this is he what I'm saying. You're not going up there to have a conversation. He's going to pull pop out. He's going to see what's happening. 
He playing with all hoes, doing whatever he want to do. <laughs> and he said he don't like penetrating. I don't like having sex. I like petting you. What? I'm not doing that. I'm not paying. You're going to jail for petting. Listen, when you he got money, you get into weird shit. I can, I, like, come on. Like, I, I, I can't regular do don't, don't apply to these no. people. So this is what I'm saying. If 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 I'm, I'm if I'm a woman, I get approached. I already know a is is this is out of my league, or if I'm going for it, I can't complain about whatever's about to happen. B, it's not going to be a regular missionary night. <laughs> it's not going to be a regular yeah. doggy style night. You like, like this nigga Cosby old? All right, you got something to make me relax. And that right. nigga was looking <laughs> old dead. Take the shit. She got two smacked. <laughs> nigga Bill Patton. <laughs> Yo, but <laughs> the pet cemetery. Okay. We could joke about it, but all right. No, it is serious. You, I don't no, condone no, it's, it's, it's dead it. I don't serious. advocate like it's, it's, what he did was wrong. That's a no, color thing. Respect. That's that's a whole racial thing, regardless. Yeah. Because we, they didn't forgot about Weinstein. Oh. They didn't forgot about all the other white actors, and then they, they just got fired. Out. Yeah, like we ain't talking about them yet. But but Bill is on some shit. I just like, don't like the fact that they snatched all my son's shows off, right? Oh yeah, that's fucked up. I watch Harvey. I, I watch Weinstein films all the time on Netflix. Them shit's still up there. Yeah. Netflix, pick up Cosby show. I will Never support Weinstein. Please let my. I, I will show. say, at first, I think with Charlie Sheen, they did pull his show off. At yeah, but first. Charlie Sheen, he giving bitches AIDS. Yeah, he was wild. That's a whole other. That's murder. One. That is a that whole. Is, that's that a is, whole. You're gonna die way quicker than you were supposed. Murder, death, kill, homicide. Right, judge, jury, and execution are all yeah, in one. One eight seven. You know what I'm saying? Like it's wild because I'm like, first of all, I was like, you. We all know, being a black man, the justice system is sketchy. All the time. You know what I mean? We know that. Every time this nigga get a, a guilty verdict, it's automatically, oh, I'm snatching his shit back. We're not playing Bill. We're not doing this. We're not doing that. But we don't never look at the system in itself and be like, hold up. Niggas is lying. Because one of them chicks... Charlie Sheen ain't doing things, did he? No. One of the chicks um, in, in Cosby Journal was like, nah, I lied. Like, nah, I made that up. You know what I mean? So it's like, when do we say... When do we be like, yo, um, the, the justice system is, is kind of sketchy where you be like, I don't believe that shit. You know what I mean? And you be like, something ain't right. Doug, y'all, coming through. Um, Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at yeah, the right? justice system, you know what I'm saying? And you got to be like, hold up, somebody, shit ain't right. Because you can't just say, oh, that's a guilty verdict. First of all, he ain't judged by his peers. Yeah. Because his peers would oh, be other actors. Still. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His peers would be 60 and up. Right. I mean, and I'm pretty sure there's a 24 year old sitting there like, oh, oh shit, that's Bill Cosby. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm still going to watch the Cosby show. Where you going to find it? Where you going to find it at? Uptown <laughs> Saturday <laughs> night. You got DVDs. I go right to 250, get the whole collection, right? The you know Bill Cosby I, show, I got, call, the I got, cartoon. I got, I got for the Patchy in the Bronx on DVD, yo. Wow. Yeah. Come That's on. crazy. I, you know who I'm waiting for to have a sexual case, though? Who? He, is he dead yet? Who um, is he dead? James from Good Times. James from Good Times. Evan? Um, yo, you know what? What's his name? Jimmy Walker? No. no. Jimmy, the father. The father. The father. Oh, James. Uh, James, James Walsh. Elmos, right. John and John, no, no, no. John. Why you get No, listen? James. Because I be watching, Amos. um, I be watching John. Good Times now, right? And every time I look at them, I'm like, damn, these niggas has got so much fucking pride to not leave the project. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What you got to do with the formula? No, I just had to get that off. It was the whole. Because I'm pretty sure one of them. I'm pretty sure one of them niggas was in that, and that was like, yo, I'm the man here, because he was the real him and, and Jimmy Walker. Was the reason like the shit didn't really last because no, they, they felt good. they felt like no, they was arguing yeah. I guess about the money or whatever. They, yeah. they, they just killed James. Oh, but JJ, he wasn't making more money, but right? And because he, he felt more. like Jimmy was getting um JJ was getting more light. But he was, he was, he was. The show. right? And he didn't like that. So. He was like Urkel. Yeah, he was just throwing really the shit without Urkel. I get that, but I'm but it not. wasn't even initially about him. 
Johnson. It's about Reginald Vell Johnson. I know. And then Urkel got on the show, and that shit shifted all the way yeah, to, to him. him. And I'm like, damn, this nigga got yeah. You, one, your, your your oldest is an artist. Your 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 second oldest, she could dance. And then you got this lawyer coming up. And then the mother's got all this goddamn pride. Yo, out of all the TV moms in the world, she's hey, the ugly. No, damn. Hate, no disrespect. Hate. No disrespect. She passed away though, wasn't she? She did? Yeah, she's a long time ago. I used to look at her like, I still be watching. No, he could have got a better bitch though, I'm just saying. As far as being mom, she was the worst because my thing with her was she was she was like that, she was that bad luck mother. No matter what kind of progress they made or you know, good luck they had, she always prayed to white Jesus and she was like, This is not what the God, this is not what the Lord has given us. Like the episode when, when, when he paid to like, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus and he and he had got the good luck. And she was like, she was like No, no Jesus don't look like that. Like what? You why? She wanted white Jesus on the you wall. You watch that shit? Tyler Perry did the same thing with white Jesus. Oh, he did that with the, the boondocks? No, I'm talking about period. Oh, no, no. I don't know about that one. All of them, that, who, who they praying to? He ain't not once said Jesus was black. But you ain't realize, though, that's the, that's the, like, my grandma, my grandma, they right pimp him. They pimp she white, white Jesus. Jesus on the wall. They don't pimp black Jesus. You can't pimp black Jesus. Jesus. No, I, I but I remember the episode with 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 um with the black Jesus. He's like, nah, I don't know what he what made him draw it, but I remember it was, it was she was getting the wino. It really was really Ned the wino that he drew, and he you know this. <laughs> I'm just saying, she she <laughs> drew Ned the wino, and they kept getting good luck. And I remember what Michael found. I think what a hundred dollars. Right. He's like, oh my god. No, take this, take this, Jesus down. I'm like, and then James was he had got a job or something like that, a good oh, job. Promotions like that. Yeah, he said, no, I'm like, come on, like you got <laughs> something, got to get. Damn, man. Like after at a certain, and then she, yeah, she definitely had bad luck, cause when Thelma won, got the well, she got the football player. He broke his leg. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> had a state of projects. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Was retarded. Um, we finished with Bill. No, hold on, hold on. Yeah, the build, the build thing. This is my thing with the Bill Cosby thing. Don't get me wrong. You know, first of all, he's eight years old. I yeah. feel personally that the, the last person, the chick who looked like um Anthony Weiner, um, the one that, the one that yeah, I thought that was Caitlyn at first. Yeah, I thought that was a dude that had the paper. I'm like, yo, first of all, she like he Anthony gave her, he gave her three million, right? I but fuck, but fuck Bill up, huh? I just got him in quiet. Yeah, but we'll fuck Bill up. You know, fuck Bill up. But the simple fact, um, what was it called? The statute of limitation? I think that was like the newer case dealing with him. It was like, it was like 2004. I think it was what, like 15 years you got it until the shit is up. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I, I remember. Yeah, you're right. So they, like, they went, they went to like midnight. So basically, she still, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I'm then it was right like, right basically, right oh, we used to go after with this. Well, fuck Bill up was the simple fact that he did the deposition, and he was like, yeah, off a couple bitches from Play Moves, you know what I'm saying? Because she got old, yeah. and a little senile-ish, and, and now you start spinning your thumb. It went back to the tape. Well, this shit, I'm like, oh, uh, you but, admit to this shit. But with the one chick for 15 years, what about the chick from 30 years ago? Yeah, he can't. Yeah, it's quiet. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, that, and then that's what I'm saying. No like, when you, when you get these, when you get these... These verdicts. Me, Holly here for this one. When you Balance get, this out. When you get the verdict for this, people automatically start snatching shit away from them. And I feel like that shit is wrong. Well, yeah. You can snatch them fubu fat out of shit. Snatch them shit. Oh, yeah. Take those. Bury them shit. I forgot about them shit. I forgot about them shit. Oh, man. Yeah. Keep them shit. Yo, fubu fat out First. Yo, they got Coogee now. Versus first. They selling Coogee sweaters now. Who? Yeah. Right. No, I don't think they only sold it to somebody. Nobody. They, they, they bought it and then they sold the yeah, Coogee to they somebody else. They watered that shit down in water. It's Coogee. Yeah. Yeah. You seen them jeans? Yeah, it's just, oh. Nobody want those shits no more. Um, y'all heard of Kanye. That Jimmy Blue Bop. Nah, fuck this. Yeah, fuck the Coogee. Yeah, see, this is the thing. Yeah, the okay, okay, okay. This is, this is, Damn. this is funny. Because Kanye was quiet. Until he had enough product to sell. To sell. So now he's he putting shit out. He he put shit out there, and niggas like, oh, all right, oh, this is dropping, this is dropping. 
and I don't think he wanted the buzz he wanted, so he started doing outrageous shit. I'm not saying he's not a Trump supporter, but I'm not I'm not saying that he's he's a bigot either. I don't think he's a Kanye. 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 A big too. To black people. No. He I'm not saying he's a bigot to black people, he's just a Trump supporter. And he's making that shit vote point clear. Like I mean, I can play this. I don't want him to do a Nas album no more. That's how I feel. That's how you feel? That's how I feel, man. I want that Nas album. And, 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 sure. Nas, I mean, Kanye will have the perfect beat for, Con, for beats for Kanye right now. But you know what? I'm just cussing right now. Anything with, anything with the bullshit, I'm boycotting. So why? I'm boycotting Kanye, Starbucks, H&M. Yeah, why you know what's so funny? Yeah. Last week, boycott every single when thing. When I said after. this shit, listen. 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 Chick gonna get black folks. Okay, time on, time on. All right, all right. Listen, you let Dr. King down. He was mo- he was boycott for some real serious shit. Y'all gonna boycott other black people? What? Did, okay, what's that? What's the, what's the <laughs> result? Dr. King see? Of really need fuck. shirts that say Coonin with the circle and the slash. No Coonin, no. B. Oh, no. if you Coonin, I can't. A lot I can't of people ain't but being. Black people, sometimes don't act like black people. What do you mean? Listen, I ain't gonna front. A lot of, a, there was a, Black Panther put pride back in niggas. A fake no, movie I, I, I put pride that. back in niggas. I mean, Yo, I, they wasn't this hype for Malcolm X, which one of the greatest black movies of all time. Yeah, true. Different time periods, though. Different time periods. Heavy so, drugs back then. Yeah. People we were like, mm-hmm. you know, like, the whole con- conscientious moment was... Niggas yeah, trying to yeah. book flights to a concert. School that shit ain't real, son. Yeah, now, like, okay. And this, is my, this is my point last week. I said, what's the purpose of the boycott? Now, back in the days, mm-hmm. when they did the Montgomery bus boycott, they were doing it for equal rights. On to the bus. S- on the bus. Sit, sit wherever they want to sit. Right. They got that and got their ass back on the bus. Okay. Mm-hmm. We keep boycotting and protesting shit without any results at the end. Now, you say you're going to... You're gonna, Pro, you gonna boycott Starbucks? Starbucks already came up with a semi solution. What giving classes? That that's that's a semi. I'm just saying. What results you want to see from Starbucks? I don't want to see nothing from Starbucks. But I want to see. No, your prices. I want to see the black privilege. I want to see more black establishments. Like yo, but this way you don't gotta rely on going to Starbucks. Nobody was okay, but, but guess what? But then, but then we're using the same mentality that they label us with, with crabs in the barrel. Instead of us trying to, Starbucks is already out the barrel. Y'all niggas trying to pull Starbucks down so y'all can come up. No, my, my oh. point was. This is, that's not no, my point was. No. My point was. No. My point was they should million. have already started our we own should've. something, so we don't have to say. Because of this shit that's going on here, and we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna start a coffee and, shop and over a here. We wait for shit to happen. To somebody of our, somebody right. you know, black. I, they they got one, Starbucks yeah. on Linux. I'm going to go to 7th and start the blackest coffee shop Joe possible. Bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like some, Bucks. You know what I'm saying? Some, <laughs> some, some, some wild oh. shit. You know, go, back, go back to Bill Cosby thing, too. This is another thing I'm pissed off with the whole Bill Cosby thing. And this goes back. I'm mad you got caught. No, this is the thing. This, this goes back to Sorry. black people. This is why we are ignorant. And we want to say it because... If you remember, the whole thing with Bill Cosby started with Henry Burris, right? right? Now, to go back a step further, his comedy was based on something that he said that Bill Cosby was raping bitches. But the whole thing was, to go back a step further, it was about, you know, when Cosby had like a forum or like a discussion amongst people. It was like an order term he was doing a discussion. And he talked about the whole thing of young black men need to pull their pants up. And black mothers didn't start raising their kids. They're going to the club and shit like that. Black people got mad at him for saying that, for, for outing them about doing shit like that, right? And, and he was correct. So then after he said, he made that statement about, you know, it, it, it was called barbershop talk. You know, it was maybe shit that we may talk amongst each other about, like, you know, our community, people around our community. But I guess being that was in front of a, a group of people, probably was probably like white people or whatever, black folks got mad at Bill Collie for speaking his mind on that shit. And the shit was the truth. And next thing you know, somewhere along the line, Hannibal Burris said some shit about, you know, remember Bill Cosby raping bitches back in the day, da, 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 da. and that's how that shit came yeah. to the forefront. You know, well, so. He dry snitching, he gave it up. It wasn't dry, that shit was so wet. But no, I'm saying, no, no. I'm saying on camera in front of everybody. You know, but it's just like, yo. 
Popeye chicken. But the thing about it, like, yo, we got, well, I ain't get mad because it's the fucking truth, but a lot of black folks got mad at Bill Cotton for speaking the truth. That's what I'm saying, like, if you got somebody telling you, like, listen, our own community is fucked up in a way, why the fuck you mad at the messengers for? That's what I'm saying, niggas is ignorant and dumb when it comes to certain shit. And then when cops got here and kill us, a lot of motherfuckers is quiet. Yo, I was on I was on a bus drinking my coffee. I heard this bitch telling a Puerto Rican chick on my oh, if I was light, if I was your complexion, it'd be different, right? I'm like, I was like, bitch, y'all both slaves. Your yeah. ancestors both came from the same place. Who said this? Now this this black chick was talking to this Spanish chick on a, on a bus arguing. Like, I slapped the shit out of you. I'm like, if this stupid bitch don't get it, like we're all one. We just dropped off. In different, yeah, different times, like, different, different time, time periods. Yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah, like, exactly. like, you playing the race card, the wrong card. Like, the wrong race. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Motherfuckers don't understand, they don't get it. Well, Star Wars, I only didn't got my business like once a year, anyway. It's too fucking expensive. <laughs> Yeah, where was she last week? This is the they easiest boycott yeah, of my life. Like, <laughs> football, I had, I had to balance football. Because I still, I'm like my Jets, so in the beginning of the season, I'd be having hope. They was losing, so I said, fuck football anyway. Let me tell you Starbucks is an easy Let me tell you. I hope I get credit for it. Adidas <laughs> said, I, I read somewhere, Adidas was like, yo, we'll give Kaepernick a sneaker deal. If a team sign him. If a team sign him. Nigga. Sign this motherfucker regardless. They're not going to sign him. Yeah, now, he, he now, now, this week, we got the NFL draft. Yep. Mm-hmm. The Seattle Seahawks just got a one-handed, what is it, defensive end? Uh, yeah, like a linebacker. <laughs> defensive end, yeah. I want to see how... This nigga ain't even got no nah, hand. Nah, nah, nah. He got one hand. I, I see know, this is true. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! This is playing. No, no, this, but it's a thing though. <laughs> no, he got he had a twin. He had a twin brother. Right. He was born to the biblical cord was wrapped around his hand, so his hand had fully developed. Uh-huh. So he only had the little fingers on his joint. <laughs> It's so disrespectful. Nah, he did though. Yeah, but it was like this. It was a nub right here. And they said he yo, it was a real talk though. He was in so much pain because that they had to amputate. But the nigga, yo, hands down, he was the best. No, I seen him at the, I seen him at the combine. I, he's good. He was, he's the fastest dude since two thousand three to play that position. What's his name? I want to see his um, video. One handed Jack. No, yeah, you put, put one handed um Seattle's um just put Seattle. Just brother, put one handed football player. Yeah, oh shit, him too. One handed football player. Look, and um <laughs> his brother, he had a twin brother. His, what? Him and yeah. his brother played football. His brother was drafted by Seattle last year. Oh, wow. okay. That's a, that's a head. That's that's. A, so, you know, you know we're going to put your brother in your other life. Nah, you can't do that. They're going to tell you're going to have a hand. Well, we'll got both hands, so you can't just put a glove on it and think it's him out there. Like, wait, that? He, he, he got a glove got, on a He got signed. I'm not saying that there's something wrong with him being signed. Nah, but, but. He played hard, though. His arm's a little smaller. What we saying is you hey, you you getting people with one hand in here. You can't, get somebody you can't get somebody who already played and at their prime. And and just because they said I'm gonna stand up for something, I can't I can't do this. And what about the dude who? Then the other guy that said he used the word nigga, the white boy, and they 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 blamed him. How many people use the word nigga? I, I don't know, but there's probably right. a white family watching TV right now. It's a white black girl. Look at this nigga. They <laughs> laugh amongst each other. This is my thing with the NFL. They could bring a black man from out of prison, put him in the middle of a fucking football court, Seven. put a noose around his neck, hang him from the damn jumbotron. A week later... They did all that before? No, man. Oh, that, 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 that bullshit. I'm just saying that this is the that mindset of... Didn't, didn't. This is the mindset of black folks in, in NFL. They, no, could hang him, they, could, they, they could hang him from the jumbotron and after two months of protesting bullshit... Black folks watch football again. Nah, that's that's that's. But extreme. that's the thing. That's, that's, what that's what type, extreme. What type of extreme, that's, that's what type extreme. of results do you want from your boycott? I don't want to go. I don't see. I I, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I don't like football. So we like that. I mean, but you boycott um boy um Starbucks. So, what you want to go yeah, there? Because because Hollywood's like yo Gregory's Coffee. You know because you know, Hollywood's like white. Well, the Ox got coffee and all that at they spot too. This is horrible. I like Swiss Miss. What? The, 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 the cat? Yeah, nah, I'm going to talk about, I, I'm going to talk about this. Think of the hot chocolate and my iced tea fusion <laughs> um, shit. 
That was it. Uh, so that's all I'm going there for. So Kanye and Starbucks is off the black people list. See, that's hard. That's hard for, for that's hard for Kanye for me. Cause Kanye still has great music. That's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Kanye, you gonna listen to no Kanye? Wait, though? old Kanye or new Kanye? Yeah, Kanye. I like old oh, yeah. Kanye. Pre, pre, mama died. Hold Kanye up. was the best. Hold I think up, I just, mama died. Hold up, chill. Come on, Lucy Goosey. You gonna go home and watch the Cosby Show? Cosby was putting his finger in bitches' pudding. But you gonna boycott Kanye because he fuck with a white man? Whoa. He fuck with yeah. a white man. <laughs> fuck with a white man. What you fuck? Oh yeah, yeah, right, right. So it's. You boycott Cosby too? No, he's no, not. No, no. Oh, no. I, I, I go, y'all not gonna boycott Cosby, but he's a. Uh, I'm gonna have to keep watching Cosby because he was targeted, and it was the way he was targeted. Whereas with Kanye, he was targeted. No, you know, Kanye, Kanye went straight for Coon. We're talking about Kanye. Kanye went straight for Coon. Would you do on your? Would you do personally? Does not affect my relationship with you. I know you know you for a fact. Does not affect what you do personally. Does not affect my relationship with you. I know you know you for entertainment purposes at all. What you do personally don't affect me. Because I don't know you personally. Okay, no, I know you for your, for your work. And if I love your work, I'm going to keep loving your work. But I, I, think I, love, for long, I love Cosby. Integrity. Cosby was raping bitches. And I'm going to still love the Cosby show. <laughs> okay. Kanye ain't fuck with the devil. I'm going to still listen to Kanye. The because thing, what he do on outside the booth don't affect me. No, but the thing is... But his music does. The, the thing about it is with Kanye, we were shocked because when Katrina happened with George Bush, and he, he, he was the people. only person that said... George Bush don't get niggas was like, oh shit, yes. somebody said something. Yeah. Yeah. And it was this nigga. And, and now you go support the most racist, blatantly racist right. president we've all ever had. Know, all the, all the presidents was racist. No, yeah, this nigga is causing so that. much friction right now. But let me and tell you, you want to say and you wanna say, I love him. I'm and this He's is my what, energy brother. What the fuck? And this is why about? white people be laughing and then looking at us crazy because he personally picked him, Steve Harvey. Ray Lewis to to, to to be photographed coming out mm-hmm. of the, of the, just so it look like oh, you need to check their account. Like it's just like when you, your friend you, uh, you have a white friend you're like nah I'm not racist my best friend is black. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, sure. it's, it's it's similar to that. Like okay. Kanye ain't really affected by what we are affected by when it comes to um them them government laws that they put in place to police brutality and shit like that. He ain't affected by none of that shit. You know who Kanye West is, basically? He's the modern day William O'Neill. You know who that guy was? No. He was a fucking fake Black Panther. He's, he's an FBI agent. Black man who basically infiltrated the Black Panther and shit like that. That's who Kanye West formed. He formed that category now. Oh, man. I look at things totally different. I look at it like that. Like you just say, the same man was like, yo, Bush hate black people. And honestly, it was crazy. Like, I remember having Bush in office than fucking Trump. I want to see. Because you already had, you already went through Bush. And no, went that here's bad. the thing. He's he's he might have had man. racist tendencies, but presidents have throughout history have tried to bring the country together as a whole. Uh, right, or at least, at least even with Reagan doing movie. his drug thing on the side underneath. Big, that's something totally Listen, different. And I'm already saying within the last probably 40, 50 years of history of lesson. Abraham Lincoln. Slave More than a slave owner. <laughs> he he get credit for doing a lot of things for black people, but he shared on them Indians. Native Americans, no disrespect. Okay, let me tell you how how fucked up he was. He was moving people out so he could move the white people around. You know, he was expanding. Mm, ain't no he different them, today. He, <laughs> he yeah, he moved them to where, that, where um <laughs> where that shit is at? Ah. Uh, the heads that's on the damn shit. The, the monument? Oh, you talking about Montana? The, 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 the Mount Rushmore? Mount Rushmore. They was living there for years. They, they, after they moved them over there, they was there for years. They didn't have who was, who, they, 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 The Native Americans. Okay. They moved them over there like, y'all can have this land while we do everything. And they, right, they was there for, for centuries. Had dead, dead, buried there, everything. Some white folks found out it was gold in the mountains. Got them niggas right up out of there. Yeah, did that to Africa. Yeah, and then got the nerve, destroyed everything, their homes and everything, mining for gold, and they're going to put the full heads of the people that had something to do with it <laughs> on the damn mountain. Amazing. Like I said the other day, everything's being gentrified now. Except the Bronx. I'm waiting for them to gentrify the Bronx. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're not. They're they they going to do that. They're they're gonna, gonna, you know, you know why? You can't. Dude, the only reason you got, no, they're not going to take Manhattan. 
You, it you can only take... Took home. Well, Brooklyn and Harlem are the two most historically black boroughs. I'm going to say Harlem as, as a borough. Yeah, yeah. Because there's no other borough that's, that's renaming avenues. Marcus Garvey this. Michael X that. Mark, they want to take that right. from you so bad. So that we're going to say, fuck it. We're going to gentrify these areas. Mm -hmm. Try to make it ours. You can't because we there. You're not going to change. Niggas yeah, ain't, about it. You're not going to change Marcus Garvey um, Avenue or projects, whatever. You're not going to change none you're of that. You're not going to change Malcolm X Boulevard to they want to sell, sell No Hope. Hope. No Hope. No right? Hope. Yeah. Yeah. No North of Harlem, yeah. which is the dumbest shit ever because it's already Harlem. There is no South of Harlem. Right. It's an East Side, Harlem. it's a West Side. Yeah. Yeah. And what there is. Spanish Harlem and, or Harlem. Right. You got Harlem is the west side, Spanish Harlem is the east side. And that's it. That's right. the only that's Harlem it. that I accept. And yeah. everything else, but it, Harlem is black. And they want to be, they want you, to and, see how we survived and how we make it. Again, y'all should have been here last week. I said, <laughs> if it wasn't for black people, we make shit hot. Of course. Yeah. We make Adidas, Adidas was hot because we made it hot. You was, it was a dope sticker, but we said, that's the shit I want to wear. That shit, we made it what it was. Fuck it. He said, take Joe the laces out. Nice. And, but if you look at the documentary on, um, damn, who the fuck? Was that ESPN? Yeah. Talking about it? Yeah, Jordan was just 30. a face. And they told him that. Yeah, yeah. They told him. They sat his ass down and was like, yo, you're the face of, you know, your but face is going to be on. That's what to the league, though. Right. Not until you start you know, bringing the points and becoming who he was, it's like, oh, he wanted to take basically. You, you, yeah. you the fucking brand. You, you see the building they get in, motherfucker? Nah, I ain't see the building. Right, but you, oh, that, listen. Oh, the headquarters for the, for the Jordan? Where is that? Off is that interesting? Is, is it North, I don't think it's in like, North Carolina. It might be. Oh. It's, it gotta be. It, it, it's, it's some crazy shit. It but. might be because he is. He, he got. Um, Nike produced. Nike builds. Nike um, sponsors pretty much the NBA. They do the jerseys now. Right. Jordan, the, the Hornets is the only team that instead of got Nike check, they got the Jordan sign. What? So that's his team. Yep. Yeah. Oh shit, damn. Okay, now no Nike check there. Jump man there. <laughs> damn. I said the same. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I said, I mean, I like hey, Jordan. Man, that's, that's the least you can get at. Me. I just want him to, to to take time and put in the, the, the good paint on a goddamn sneaker where it don't chip. You gotta talk to little Lane Lou. That nah. work that's that thirteen Nike, hour shift just them now. Them Nike, them eighty eight joints, they, they don't crack like like Jordans when you wear them in the rain or whatever. I don't I like that. Never wear mine in the rain. Before I take a forecast, when I wear my Jordans, like yo, it's gonna be sunny. I'm gonna put them on. Oh, speaking of like like um like you said, black people be hot. We yeah. made it hot. We made it hot. We our money at things. That's what we do. We spend our money. Exactly. What do you think that's about what you call them? Um, you heard that Taylor Swift shit? Um, Earth the Fire? No, I heard the shit. And they better not put that shit up. What's it called? We need to boycott that bitch. Earth the Fire for that. We need to boycott her for that. She better not. She better not put that in there. She gonna put it out. She's already out. You heard it. No, I heard a snippet. But she knows. If you can hear it, this song, she better not put that in there. I guess she makes that They wanna be us. She makes that song for, I guess, the generation that is. Following her, I guess, because I can't see her going to the studio making this song and think like, oh, black folks gonna like this shit. Like, she got the fucking banjo on this shit. Like, yo. Oh, it's a Yeah. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Listen, oh, oh, keep it. Let me tell you. I seen motherfuckers perform a Beyonce song just like that. Who? Who? Some country motherfuckers. Talk about some to the left, to the left. They did the whole country show. Country. Okay, when it comes to country music, that's if, country. If, but I'm saying no, no, they no, no, no. Around country. If it's done the right way, the shit can be hot. Yeah. It can be hot. That's not hot. It's like because some country motherfuckers. Could you do a bodyguard with Whitney Houston? Her song in the movie with Kevin Costner. They mm -hmm. went to the movies. Oh, they was dancing, and it was an actual Western song first. I will always love you. Nah. Her, yeah, Kevin Costner. Yeah. It was Western well, first, and then she the made it hot. It made it hot. So, but, so but what's the difference? You because we got style. We, yeah, we Niggas don't. They don't have it's style. Not for your, that's clearly not for your ears. 
Alright, first of all, yeah. this is gonna bring a lot of light to Earth, Wind, and Fire because she's bringing one of their songs. Yeah, make you over drop your whole life out your pocket. I understand that. I get that. But I'm saying, that's what I said. It's for the younger generation who follow her. Like, it's not for the Viva. Because they want to see it. It's not for us, but it's like, okay. Hold on, I gotta just because it's no difference than whatever rapper who sampled James exactly. Brown and just like you said, you brought light to a James Brown. You know, they got they got black That's people in, so it don't, so they like. Oh, I think the issue is it's trash. And you know, right. it, is. <laughs> it is. It's trash. You ruined the classic. But so it's know, another thing of white people. I, you if ruined, you want to do something with the classic, hours. let me hear. Let me make sure it's hot. Like, it can bring you home. I think that was a hot country song. I mean, I... I, I listened to some Western it. song, but that was terrible. That was terrible. What I never even heard it until just yeah, now when I, I played it. It's for it, man. I mean, somebody thought that shit was fire. Like I said, she... She probably fire. thought this shit was fire. Clearly, she did the shit. <laughs> she thought... And still, she did that without no, no advice. Because most of my friends... So she really thinks it's hot. Hold on. Let's see. Let's just let's, let's listen to it. And the banjo was too loud. I mean, it's just the cover. She covering it. It's yeah, just the yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An acapella version. Like when Jodeci did Lately I. Was, but it was dope. <laughs> this shit is trash. Yeah. No disrespect. I never fuck all that. A black person disrespect that. Nah, man. Let it rock, man. Song over yeah, I don't know. She bring it. She, she bring it. It's probably somebody that's going to like that. Hold on. Let, let me hear this. Let me hear the riff. Yeah. Got to do the mark. It's trash. Let me tell you something. It's trash. This is the nigga that we are not going to have on any <laughs> album mix that we ever put on. Because <laughs> his ear is. Yeah. Me and you have, you have a great ear. Here's the problem. Say that shit is, is good. I don't I mind don't it though. Bad. I don't mind it. Like, yo, she made a cover. That. She made. This I don't have an issue with it. This is something that I'd have been listening to. Like, oh, she's. That's a, oh, I don't want to find shit. And I just listened to it out. She probably killed it. Because she's not a bad singer. Play Earth, Wind, Fire shit. We're not going to do that. We already had that. Oh, oh, I got Earth, that on my own. Play Earth, Wind, Fire shit. And you get the band. What you talking about the elements? You can't beat them niggas. Yo. She ain't beat them. She ain't trying to be. I think she's paying homage. That's I, what I think so. Yo, I think she's paying homage. The, the fact that she know that word, word for word, you said nobody told her to do she did on her own. She's yeah, saying she, that shit word for word. You could Google that. We used to do that shit in school. Go to live every time. Alright, that's here that's that's the that's original cover of. Oh, uh, she is. Let's this see. Is classic. Already bopping. You already. I know. You already bopping. But they ain't had a banjo. Fuck the banjo. Yeah, I fuck the banjo. <laughs> Even the video was that dope. That racist. Y'all know that? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Black people can't be racist. Yo, black people are racist. Summertime. I was listening to this Thursday. Don't talk to me about this. She didn't sound nothing like this. She didn't. But she still took it to her zone. And made son out of it. I don't, I cannot compare shit to that because I'm gonna obviously love this more than that. But she put her own When you in that industry, and I just somebody put, I put, has to say, don't do it. No. Yeah, you gotta say no. Somebody had it, first of all, because you're fucking it up. For you, you, you that's for your you. playlist? Do you listen to, do you listen to outside this shit anyway? No. All right, then. So why the fuck you worried about? You wasn't gonna listen to her anyway. Z100 might play that. You listen to Z100? I don't care. Shut the fuck up, man. Well, it'll hey, piss you off up. if we go to number you one. Mad, Hell yeah. It'll yeah. piss you off if we go Hell to number yeah. one. Yo, you walking down the street mad that the light red two blocks away. <laughs> Nigga, you on foot for one, and for two, you ain't walking that way. Why you mad at that shit for? Leave that shit alone. Hey, I ain't nothing to do. You about to make a turn. This ain't even walking down that block. Good point. Yeah, Good point. Y'all like, worry about something that ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Really? Off the rip. Don't take our shit and not make it hot. Exactly. I'm Don't take our shit and not make it hot. Ain't that your shit? No. You think it's ours. Shit. I'm glad that you That belongs to us. Yes. Especially you can't have song, nothing. Yo. If you take a song about Earth on the Fire, right? Your whole thing is take that song and make that shit better than the original. Why do you want to be us? 
no, 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 no. They no, want to no. be us no, so Okay, bad. okay, okay, listen. They can't take our shit, but we can take their shit. Yes. Because <laughs> they, they, they always take your shit. They always yeah. take your shit. They took us from Africa and brought us over here. We built this motherfucker. They took new edition, made new kids on the block. That's mm. Half the songs uh, that do edition they put on their album, the they gave the new kids on the block. In the makings, is there one? They, 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 they'll be one. Niggas don't even talk about the niggas no more. Nah, you're missing the point. New edition was dope, and they said, oh, we need to cash in on that. And then and they, they tried, did. and guess what? Do you have no kids on new kids on the block poster? No. So why the fuck you worried about these niggas, man? They take it. They want to they be They ain't take nothing from you. They but I can't have fun. They just take a breath out your I, mouth because you talk about this person. I like some new kids on the block song. That's some dumb shit back Oh, now that's some dumb shit. Yo, the, shit. Please, <laughs> the Please Don't Go Girl <laughs> was a direct <laughs> new edition ripper. That was. It was. That's why that shit was dope. But it, was for, it wasn't for y'all. Y'all had no edition. Y'all want, y'all want them too? And they had that same. Y'all wanted them too. We had no. one twelve, but yeah, they was on. dope. It's people, like I don't have a problem people. with it if it's dope, but right. when it's a blatant rip off and it's whack. Yeah. All right, now people. Marvin Gaye um, people sued Robert Thicke for using that song. They Blur it out. That shit was dope though. That was dope. But you, but you ain't boycott that, right? First of all, Robert Thicke. Robert, 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 no, no. Robert it's one thing. It was Pharrell. First of all, it was Pharrell. It was Pharrell. Pharrell took it. It was black on black crime, and that's fine with me. Listen, if you white, you got soul. That was Robin Thicke's song. Okay. But Pharrell well, produced took, um, it. But no, no, no. It's just um, Through the Wire. Okay. Kanye took that, made Shaka it hot. Shaka Khan. Yeah. Through yeah. the yeah. Fire. That was Kanye. But he made it hotter. No, no, no. no. Nah, no. Come come on, through the wire. I'm talking about, I'm talking about white folk when they take black shit. And like I said, Robin Thicke, he already had soul. So Him and Gary yeah. Owens. They could be black in my yeah. book. Uh, he he, he got, got soul. Yeah, 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 we got that. Justin oh, Timberlake oh. can be black in my book. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Because the Janet shit Jackson shit did. was black. Like, yeah. Man, then the words. All the notes. Listen. Very All the notes can be black. Yes, they can. Listen. Y'all talk about some. We take, we take their shit and make it hot. Mm-hmm. They can't take our shit and make it hotter than us. Right? So, so then leave it alone. So why we I give you perfect. They, they the same the song. Hold on. The same song, September, was in the movie Trolls. If you got kids, yeah, you saw the movie. Yeah. They ain't try to change it. Not at all. They just covered the song, but they left it alone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And if that's what I, my little kid sings it. I have no problem with that. Justin Timberlake singing it. And whatever the actors sing it. That's how I would. And because it, it sound good. Because it's, it's still in the same key, the same rhythm. Mm-hmm. This shit here was just... In a, in a poor... Banjo rhythm. You don't know that. That, that probably got the, she probably got the best banjo player in the world for that shit. Right? No, it sounded sound like she was playing the banjo. Sitting on a porch drinking lemonade. Now I can see what you're doing. So, uh, yo, yeah. I see yo, it. For, I don't have an issue with it, but the song is trash. How about that? The cover is trash, uh, but I don't have an issue. People, with, I'm not covering it up for people. people. I just don't like worrying about shit. Okay. That so, I don't you know, you know about. what, you know what we do fuck up though. White people bring dogs on a train. You saw that video? Yep. <laughs> Yo. The black niggas bringing pit bulls on train. I play. have an issue with a that. Person, first of all, you got a black person bought pit bulls. No, a black person bought pit bulls. That's on the train. problem. Who's a black person? I thought it was a black person. Why bring a whole pit bull? The niggas is aggressive. Nah, the nigga, nigga's white though. All right. I don't have a problem with whoever bought it on the train. It's the no, fact you got a pit bad. bull on little, the train. The little dog, yeah, or a senile dog. Yeah, because we're supposed to be in no. the bag on um, right. the cage. You're supposed to be no pit bull on the damn train. Okay. Without a muzzle. Right. Yeah. And that shit bit the shit out of out the girl. I thought it was a baby the, at had, first. Had the, the, the girl foot. Like, yo, get your shit off my she foot. She had the blue Jordans on. Tight. Out of it. I was pissed. Oh, oh, so now, look. So now she got bit. And the person I asked was, was a black dude because she probably ain't going to get paid now. You know what you could do, though? <laughs> you can, if she was smart. <laughs> you think, yeah, I was through the MTA. Oh yeah, you see the MTA. Because you now we now it's time to tweak the goddamn change your policies. The way you do that, that shit. Oh, the black lady got bit. Put yeah. it to the camera. Now, he look Puerto but Rican. But he looked like a he looked like a fiend. Though. He look Puerto, he look Puerto Rican. You gotta be high. You think you bring a pit bull to the goddamn train? You gotta be high. It's, 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 it's like fifty like a couple Make seconds. Shit. You good? You but good. It's a longer version. All I'm though. saying. I'll put it in later on. I'll put it in. On. That shit right there. That would get, I would sue the shit out of MTA. He's shaking the shit. Because 
For one, that'd be like, yo, you can't bring this dog Yeah, you, you can't. You're going to have to, like, that shit will have to change. The law going to have to change on that shit. If you're going to bring a dog, it has to be a specific size. It has to be Some a service dog. Something that fit in a cage. Right. Or could be... A service dog or a small dog. That's it. No fucking pit bull. Niggas is wildin'. Yeah, I, I don't want to... I, I was coming here, I saw a bitch who had a dog on a bus. Big ass dog? No, it was a fiend. I'm like, damn, well, how'd she get the dog? It was, I was like... You about to send it? was a fiend dog. <laughs> Yo, word your mother bitch was a fiend. Had a dog. And it was a nice looking dog, too, on the bus. I'm like... You know what I miss? What? Hobos. The bunch? The, yeah. The, yeah. I see these niggas... Uh, they, they, I'm talking about some old school niggas that had a story for you. These niggas want money from me now. Oh, remember that? They had to be able to buy a can from me. They used to be on Aqueduct with the dog. They used to find the can from me. Remember the one on Aqueduct? Aqueduct Path? It was a bum? What only happens that way? He probably died now, but I remember that. I used to take my sister to school, see him every morning with that dog. Yo, what happened the other day, yo? I'm outside. How they get these fucking pets? I don't know. It's like God bless them. Like, I ain't going to give you a home, but I'm going to give you a dog. I'm going to give you a half. And you feel like Chris Rock is right though. You feel sorry for the dog. Yeah, cause yeah, I mean, are you feeding the dog? Eat that nigga. He's an animal. Yeah, but you feel sorry for the dog. It's an animal. Alright, so you comfortable with the white woman stealing the music You gonna boycott this and thing. making it whack, but then you don't have an issue with a malnutrition, un, <laughs> uncared for animal. But well, you know what? what you know? No, 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 no. Really? If you haven't noticed, none of the, the, the homeless dog be malnourished. Them niggas be, be boom. Yeah, that's <laughs> like stocky. Yeah, well, none of them niggas. So many people have sympathy for these situations. That dog gonna eat, he gonna eat. Yeah. I seen a dog in this chick crib. <laughs> I even knew she had a dog. I look by the fridge, this whole ribs, everything. I said, what happened to this dog? He's <laughs> like, he don't eat. No, you don't eat him. <laughs> I snuck him from Chinese school. He was happy as hell. So he had a roof over his head, but he was hungry. Would you rather starve and live outside or be in the house hungry? Because I swear to God, I'll be outside full of... Happy as a motherfucker. I'm There's a lot of people that, that's, that's hungry indoors, though. Yeah, shit. You wow. <laughs> nah, I get your point on that, too, because sometimes you could like you could have a rich family, but they, they torture the kid or some shit like True. that. And then you got a poor kid, those, but those, his parents those love Those white them adoptive love. parents. Those motherfuckers you see that time with those. Recently. On her driving mother, kids off, off the, the cliff off for the cliff. no reason. Just because you black. We ain't going to talk about that right now. Well, I'm just trying to make no, no disrespect podcast great again. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that shirt. <laughs> make podcast um, great again. So if you are making it great, shout out to Russell Simmons. Why, hey, oh, yeah, hey. Yep, you got that right. Now he can go back to, now we can get <laughs> Def Comedy Jam back on Netflix. Because they snatched his shit now off. HBO. Soon as, no, but they snatched his shit off soon as they heard accusations came well, out. But Weinstein movies are still up there. That's my point. That's crazy. That's why you can't court. let Taylor take the song, man. You got to. Right, you got to. Yo, you got they got to stop, man. That's the same with the Here, Here's the thing. They're not going to let no black people rock in the court system no more. They made one mistake the same way they made a mistake with Obama being They president. made a mistake with, with OJ. OJ. That's, That's it. Now they're like, no, no fuck that. No, we got Bill. Fuck Weinstein. That's why they Listen. Feel. After OJ, no black man is getting free. I don't care how much money you got. They find a way. And you away. can't take his money from him. Who, you can't that? take his pension, his yeah. NFL pension. You can't even yeah, touch, touch it. it. Nah. That's, these niggas is on us, for real. If Bill was smart, he would have, as soon as the court case us. came out, he would have started funneling his money to some other shit. That he way they can't did. touch it either. Come on, Bill oh, smart. No, he probably, yeah. he probably gave mad bread to Camille. Like, Camille, yeah. all this. You know what I say? You think he's gonna do some time? He needs to he just die, like he's you said. Gone. First of all, you old, you lived your life. He was gonna Nigga, say, it's time to. Really. I just feel like right, your kids is dead. Just... Legacy, man. Well, we got three more to go, right? What, three kids? Yeah, you got three more kids yeah. to go, right? Yeah. They all from Camille? Yeah, they all, yeah. All, 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 like all so, the kids. Okay. Camille looked good back in the days. No, I'm just saying, that's good he didn't have that scandal on yeah. his back. Yeah, oh, no, he do got an extra kid out of the wedlock. Oh, he did. So, uh, oh, look at like, like he should have had it with Felicia Rashad. That's why I'd have. She mama. married to. Uh, I don't care. Amar Rashad. Amar. She's not married no more though. I got the boy. I mean, like you know, back yeah, then. Amar left her for a white woman. Yeah, y'all ain't, ain't stop watching Inside Stuff though. I don't no, I never. I ain't watched it. I don't think I really watched it. That's a good one. It's 
Not that Ruffin. 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 Not Hey, Yo, I don't share those same views. Me neither. <laughs> I, 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 but I definitely did have a crush on Felicia and Shaw. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Out of, Claire, have some back on yeah, well, I used to be like, he ain't hitting it right. But then, yeah, then yeah. now I'm thinking about it, he might have been. Right. I remember when he proposed to her. Who? I'm always shy. Oh, I, I was like around right. Thanksgiving. That's way back in the day, though. Mm. Uh, well, okay, so Russell Simmons, he good. Meek Mills, he's out finally. Thank God we don't got to say free him no more. Thank God. I just hope he stick to the script and really, you know, because I feel like his his story is similar to Twelve Years a Slave. They got to go back to court, Yeah, he got to go, but at least he's out now. To to, to it's some light shed it on the on the whole uh, DA system, the, the judicial system in Philly. So hopefully he stick to his his, his plan and to help other people get out. Of you know prison that was unjustly incarcerated. And you know, sad like, about you know that? Philly is crazy with they they criminal system. You know what's sad about that too? This is again we do it to our own people. He got a black judge trying to lock up this cat. You know, for riding a motorcycle. Didn't get lost. He ain't, he ain't kill nobody. He ain't stick up a bank. He ain't do nothing. He ain't even sell no drugs, drugs. to nobody. He went like. on a motorcycle. Probably got to an argument at the airport and. You try to violate this man for the, the dumbest shit. Mom like you got a hard on for, cause she don't even want to get off the case. Yeah, like yo. But how do you get off the case though? How can how does the judge say? Cause they said the judge don't want to remove herself off the case. How do you do that? I think even the um, I'm not sure. I think the governor supposed to can remove her. But I mean, I, I don't know how she just. And then the thing about it is like the cop that arrested him prior to to him being famous like this. Yeah, he's a corrupt cop. And, yeah, admitted to being the corrupt. Everybody knows about it now. Got a bunch of cases where people are incarcerated doing crazy time. It's just, I hope he stick to the plan and do what he say he want to do. Yeah. That nigga get on a bike, I'm not even fucking with him no more. You, I don't even want to get on the bike for the video shoot. Word. Right. Photoshop my don't shit even, Don't even ride around this me. This is my thing, like, yo, it ain't like, 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 the whole thing with Tia. Tia said he can't be around guns. I understand it. A motherfucker can't get on a fucking bike, motorcycle. That shit is the dumbest shit in the world, man. No, it's not. It's crazy. nothing. It, it's it, no it's, harm it's, to it's, nobody. Yo, it's crazy. I learned that people are flawed. You know, like, fuck like, yo. Flawed. So you be in position to control my life. It's just not. It shouldn't be. Yeah. It shouldn't be like that. Now, if you want to be a, as a community, like, I think communities should govern themselves. Right. That's what all right, we here. all live here. Tulsa, Oklahoma. We all grew up together. Something happens here. Oh, we figure out what to do with them. Or how to handle it. But the thing about that too, that goes back to our community communities ain't our community, our communities no more. We not and we not organized either. You know, like, we still renting. It's not even about still renting. It's a whole lot of shit going on with us mentally where you don't even want to help the next person get on anywhere. Because a lot of motherfuckers is just waiting for you to get on just so they can have their hand out mm-hmm. and, and don't want to join the process. I'll give you a perfect example. Any of those cases where the white boy, white man, whatever, went and shot up Waffle House, mm-hmm. went and shot up mm-hmm. some school, mm-hmm. shot up the movie theater, these niggas get GoFundMe pages set up for them by the white supremacist people mm-hmm. and they raised the two million dollar, three million dollar first of all, any one of us shoot somebody, we not getting bail. These niggas is getting two and three million dollar bail and they and they getting they raising the money. Because yeah. you got Bobby white people like there that's feeling like, oh I support that cause. You support the exactly. cause of shooting they, niggas. They gonna, they gonna play, yo, here's hundred dollars. They back. now somebody on our Culture or whatever, get get getting the the pinch. Oh well, you shouldn't have did it. You got all that money anyway. Or even if it was somebody broke, it's oh I ain't I can't now, I help think, you with that. I think if you start go for me, somebody, and I'm this is clearly my views, my views only. If I go shoot a bunch of white people, they're gonna be like, finally, 
finally did that shit. <laughs> and they're going to get me out of there. You, you I ain't going to make it. Record. You ain't going to make it. They're going to disassociate yourself, themselves mm-hmm. with you, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah they're not, they're not, they're not, I ain't going to have no trial. I'm going to on You can't trial. even, even if you strip you down butt shot. naked well, like the Waffle House dude, the they going to shoot you. Hey, yo, you tell you, his family going to be in danger fucking with do some dumb shit like that. I'm just saying. People, black people, black people was waiting to hear about some black person shooting some white shit up. You know what? When the DC sniper. Yeah, they was I thought like, he was yeah. white. I yeah, thought he was white. I don't think he's white. That nigga's just lying. I still think that nigga's white. Okay. I've been to DC. There's no, no. All right, that nigga white. They just took that black dude. In a hundred right. years, now, we're going to look back and like. Yeah, quick question. Now, if you don't see this nigga going. black shooting people, you still going to be like, yes, yeah. my nigga. The only thing was our nigga when he killed the white people. And he beat it. That's my nigga. Yo, look at DC, the, 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 the little boy, the DC stand with the nigga from Milwaukee Bucks. I forgot. I, I got Yeah, look Google, Google nigga from the DC stand the little kid. He look like, um. How he look now? I'm saying back then when he, when he arrested him. He look like, um. What's the nigga from Milwaukee Bucks? The, the nigga who's a star player? Patata Patenko Kempo? Uh, enough Santa on. Kumpo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Puko, whatever it is. Giannis. Like, yo. Giannis, the Greek freak. Oh, nigga, nigga, the DC sniper, oh shit, he do look like <laughs> that. I'll put that on there. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, I think we, we, we got it. You know what I want to see? The thing about it, I, I was talking about prom stories. This is prom week, right? Really? Mm-hmm. No, well, this is it's about to be yeah, prom, yeah, prom season. about to kick up. But none of y'all niggas got no fucking prom story. Niggas mm-hmm. in the group chat. I'm like, anybody got prom niggas? Like, and I realized, like, damn, I'm a prom story. You ain't got prom story? I got. I went to. I was a full escort for proms. I went for my junior year, my two times for my senior year, two times in my first year of college. I Wait. bought a tuxedo. Oh no. Nice. Oh, so you was just only you fucking prom. I took Nicole Spain and her friend to the prom. Whole Spain. <laughs> he used light skin. He from Bill. He like he like Nicole Spain. He's like, 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 like I nah, Nicole. but it was so crazy. I agreed to take it because nobody wanted to take it. I, I got no love. Her, her friend, um, she, she might be watching. But her she friend, could get that. she could get that done. Her friend was like, um, oh, I don't have a date. Do you mind taking me to? So I walked in with both of them. That's awesome. You know, what school you went to? Manhattan Center <laughs> with Cameron oh, and, and, Mace. and Mace. Yeah. Oh. I got the only fucking the prom story I got was elementary school. Yeah, mine too. And I went there with my Wu Tang shirt. I went prom, there, I went prom. There with Precious, and I was mad because Precious <laughs> mother was a smackhead. So Precious. yeah, I, I'm gonna go to school. Okay, yeah, you are Hold on, prom stories. The girl that uh, went to the prom in the casket. What? Yeah, that. What? That's what I seen too. That's what I said. The, the bitch. Yeah, where you been? Under the Yo. Did he sleep. Yo, oh, I saw this? that, like... I, I glimpsed that, I said, no. Nah. I said, nah, you are what? First of all, the story before that, what? I seen what last year, the dogs? mother who um paid, what, $25,000 to, to take... To make the boob, do, boob, Dubai type thing? Right, with the camels she and shit in Philly. She just sent to Dubai and still had change. Yeah. That's Wait, what? Last year, I mean, I don't get a mother, I think she, she had... Um, killing it. Um, last but year... The mother, she I think she had um survived. She beat cancer. Some I shit know what you're talking about. Right? Oh, so she said, that. whatever she gonna, she gonna make sure her son go to the prom. Whatever. So I think she rented a Range Rover. Had this big Dubai camel. thing, camel. I don't sand. That. Okay, cool. No, not for twenty five thousand. Not for a little kid party. No, he was high school. Little kids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, and then this year you got her going in the camel. First of all, their shit is expensive. Her family had a got to own a funeral home. That's they the only it. thing I said. You oh, wait, first of all, you can't just go somewhere and buy and or rent a casket. This is the last trope. This is Nigga, last if you, she, she gonna die. If she die, we, okay. so that means her uncle owned Unity. Let's say <laughs> she was like, look. Y'all ain't had nobody die this week. I know y'all niggas got a casket on display. Let me just borrow it for a few hours. Where yeah. else you getting the casket from? Who gave up with that thing? Yo, I seen this joint, bro. Right? Well, this girl shit. had the had the fake Beyonce thing. <laughs> and and, and they recording it, right? 
And they got the Beyonce song playing. And they got the little homo dude in the front dancing in front of it. If I was on a date, I'd be like, I got to stand here and wait for all this shit. <laughs> nah, I, I ain't with it. Nah. I tell you, the only problem, I, y'all still got, got I was in high school, Uber. right? And I remember I used to like this girl. And she wouldn't really give, I used to talk to her. She wouldn't really give me the time of day, but she liked these football players, right? So, she asked me to the front. So, I was like, no, I don't want to go with you. So, she looked at me like, what do you mean, no? I'm like, nah, I don't want to go with you. Plus, I'm not even going to the prom. Y'all not even fucking. <laughs> she looked at me like I was crazy. Yeah, they were in the fucking like that in school. Like so, that. I was like, and then I thought to myself, like, no. I come second to none. You know, all year long, I'm trying to talk to you. You like a football player. He probably shot you down. Oh, I'm going to shoot your ass down. I might shoot you. You're going to get the fuck out of here. But nah, I was like, nah, I'll come say. I ain't never been to the prom ever since the elementary, though. That was my prom, so I was like, shit. Here's the thing. I went on those four, five, six proms. Did you get any pussy? I had more action at my eighth grade prom than I did all of them proms. I ain't get. My prom, I got, when I was in 11th grade, I took a senior. She asked me to go, got none, but I ain't, she wasn't my type. My prom and my girl's prom, my senior year, neither one of us, neither prom got nothing. That was your girl? And that was my girl. What the fuck y'all was doing? That was humping, dry humping? In the limo out, when we got out that limo, her grandmother was right there. And we lived in the same building. Yeah, she knew she was. But you had got it before. My so my problem. my junior my my freshman year of high school, I took the Nicole chick and her dropped me off. But how were you going to all these proms in the freshman year? No. Of college, my freshman oh. year of college. Mm-hmm. I was a freshman; she was a, they were seniors. Oh. But I went my junior year. I went twice my senior year, and then I went her my first year of college for, to hers. And then I went my second year of college. I took a girl from Madison. To, she was a senior then. I was like two years older than her. Got none. Yeah, I, 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 after a while, you know, I said fuck all this because I don't really like none of your bitches anymore. Like, <laughs> none, like I can't wait. I just, I really just want to get the fuck out of school. That was my whole like, Let me get the fuck out of here. I don't want to see y'all. I don't like y'all no more. It's been four years of this bullshit. <laughs> I'm out. That was my thing. And I wasn't graduating no time because I still owe the regents. Y'all can kiss my ass, man. Fuck all that. <laughs> Um, what else? Any last words, people? Um, I ain't gonna say it. All right, let's say it. That's the final word, man. Hmm? Say final it. word. To my black police officers. <laughs> what? Can't even take this shit seriously. Why? No, no, go ahead, take it serious, man. Go ahead, brother. Listen, I need yeah, my I'm black talking. and Latino officers, yo, officers, yo, stop selling out. You know what I'm saying? Stop helping these race warriors kill or help destroy our, our community. And we're gonna get we wanna we gonna get one of those young black cops or Hispanic cops to come up here. It's different though. New York cops is different from these cops. No, LA. no, I just I want to, we need them up here though. We need to talk to a cop. I know we I know I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to get We're gonna get her and we need a like a cop that's been on the force for some years to say what's going on and hopefully we can get Corey for geese up here. I see they, him all they, my they always say it's a lot you know, of it's, lot, it's a lot of good cops out there. There's no such thing as good cops. It may be a nice cop, but there's no good cops out there. Well, if it's not, if it's good cop, they need to show face because the good cops are the ones who did that that piece on NBC, um, in the, um, NBC a couple years oh, back. I know you're those, 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 those are good cops. They stood up and they, they were mostly black, Latino, and Muslim cops. A, a nice cop is a you nigga that'll beat you up, won't kill you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, or he'll help. You know what I'm saying? How did the right lady go for, you know what I'm saying, a lane violation or making a left turn illegally, but then he'll go to the neighborhood and fuck with a black kid? That's probably a nice cop. But a good cop is the one who, you know what I'm saying, fuck this badge. I'm going to tell you what's going on in the community, how we are out here preying on black people. A good people. cop is, all right, put the, just throw the weed out. I'm going to just take this weed from you. But I ain't, I ain't gonna write you. No t- I ain't that's gonna right. write, write no ticket because this shit is gonna be but more paperwork. Yeah, that, that'd be a good cop. Like the, 
when I was 16 and I got caught driving my fa- mother's car without a license, but I had a licensed driver in the car with me, mm-hmm. they simply said, so it's you it's drive it's the car home. Yeah. And my parents never even knew. Until now. That's a good cop. That, cop. that was 92, got, 94, 94, 93. I'm going to say probably uh, like around the early 90s to probably... Late, late 97, 98. I'm not saying they were good cops, but the cops back then, they wasn't killing us like they kill us now. They was, they, was, they was assholes, but they was a little bit more fair compared to, I like, these new cats, I always say, these new cats, these new cats, these new cats now, they basically got beat up in high school really bad. You know what I'm saying? I know somebody who's a cop right now, and they got fucked up in growing up. That's why they're an asshole cop now. You cool with them? I'm not saying, I'm not saying, but stop whipping our asses with you. You know what I'm saying? You know, ain't got worth you, bro. Um, I'm good, man. Yeah, you did say it a lot today. I said a lot. Supporting fucking crackers. I, oh, man, yeah, man. Still man. Still I, support. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna support that yet. Yeah. I'm gonna play that for info. I'm just saying. Hot holes in she, my lawn. Yeah, I'm just saying. She taking Earth, Wind, and Fire to another, to to another uh, no, gen- gen- not. genre. No, <laughs> no, no. That's a, that we gonna have to do it after the show because we gotta talk about it. My man, they already solidified. They right. out here uh, with the white people too, mind you. Exactly. White people, Jim. It ain't like white, white people it's love Earth, Wind, and Fire. It's, it's more no, white no, people no. at their concert than us. It's I mean, probably, it's probably white brothers right now, like this bitch here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're <laughs> fucking it up a good song. Cause you, if you got like a lot of weddings, white people weddings, they play that song. Now, like black people, we play Earth Wind, we play okay. Cameo. Now how many you know, fucking young white people line, listen to Earth Wind and Fire? I'm saying I'm ready. But to say, they don't listen. But they listen to. I'm ready to say you fuck say the young white both, people, fuck the young no, black no, no, people. No, 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 no. You you can't say fuck the young white people because we gotta deal with their ass when they get older. No, we don't. We almost. That's retired, the fuck man. we do. We deal with their pops pops. now, right? They parents now, right? But they more rebellious, I think. I they think more, 30 they, years from now. Listen, they yeah, more, yeah, they okay they more they 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 in hot. Earth, Wind, Fire. I'm pretty sure you don't get a killer man. They might, sing, they might be singing that Taylor Swift shit, not even knowing that black man's in their soul. Let her, let her infiltrate our music into their white ears. Is that your last <laughs> words, brother? Yes. Yeah, cut his mic. Up. Yeah, get yeah. microphones and then cut his mic. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yo, just go go to go to our YouTube page, man. Subscribe. Yeah, subscribe, man. Give us the views. Come up here, talk shit with us. Let us know how you feel. You know, uh, Holly be back next week. You know, we'll all be back next we, week. We got live streaming coming too soon. We working on that yeah, too. We, got we gonna have it where people can call in. So stay tuned in. for that. It's gonna be good. Um, and we need a, a SoundCloud too. So stay stay tuned for all that, yeah. Mm-hmm. But go to YouTube, watch us. No doubt, disrespect podcast. Subscribe, click, view. Make our views go to a thousand. We had we, we passed seven sixty and on one. So I wanna get that to a thousand. Peace. What you drinking, man? Beer. Beer. Oh. A German beer too. It's probably made by a black man. Yeah. <laughs>